uh, what's up YouTube no reaction video Derek Carr signs with New Orleans Saints we're gonna watch this video we're gonna see what's gonna be happening right now with Derek Carr Hi, I'm Will Selva with breaking news and the first free agent quarterback domino appears to be poised to fall for the latest out of New Orleans we bring in our NFL Network insiders, Mike Garofalo and Tom Pelissero. And Mike G, I'll start with you. Who are the Saints zeroing in on? I'll make sure I get this one right after screwing up this tweet. Will Silva. <laughs> let's do it. It is Come Derek on, let's Carr. Do it. <laughs> yes. It is not so our go. colleague David Carr. It is Derek <laughs> Carr, free agent quarterback yes. after nine seasons with the Las Vegas Raiders. He was released uh, recently, and he is a Dang, he's been playing for nine Saints seasons. Closing in on a deal. Sources tell me and Ian Rappaport on this one. And look, the Saints were the team that Carr met with before he was released by the Raiders they were willing to meet Las Vegas on trade compensation but Carr said you know what you're not giving me the permission to talk to anybody else so I'm just gonna wait for my release he did that afforded him the chance to hit free agency before other free agents become available next week it also afforded him the time to take his time throughout this entire process he did just that he met with three teams in Indianapolis last week the Saints the Jets and the Carolina Panthers and we said all along despite the fact that he didn't accept that trade at the time don't discount the Saints chances they are very much in this they had a great visit they play in a dome stadium which is uh, right. quarterback loves number one number two I think I, th I really think Derek Carr's gonna do way better with um, the Saints than he did with the Raiders uh, he didn't like the Raiders at all I don't think I don't think he liked the Raiders at all it's a division without any other settled quarterback positions and a lot of teams in flux so there's the chance for the saints to compete certainly with an established quarterback right there and it's also the nfc as well we talk about the afc being loaded mm -hmm. the path to the super bowl still seems a little bit easier in the nfc especially when you look at the quarterbacks they've got over there in the afc so tom Derek carr closing in on a deal with the new orleans saints could get done officially very shortly Mike, let's be very clear. Despite some speculation to the contrary, the Saints were always the preferred destination for Derek Carr, even though, as you alluded to, when he took that initial free agent visit or trade visit to New Orleans mm -hmm. at a time that the Saints and the Raiders had agreed to a framework of a trade, it made sense always that this would ultimately be right. where he was going to land. He's back right. with his original head coach, Dennis Allen, who was part of drafting Derek Carr. Back in 2014, Carr is still somehow only 31 years old. He's obviously been a productive player through the course of his career. The hurdle for Carr has been getting into the playoffs and then winning playoff games. Well, in New Orleans, as you mentioned, Mike, he joins a team that very much continues to compete for the now. And the Saints have been going through their annual exercise of restructuring practically every contract on their roster to get into salary cap compliance and clear cap space. They're using some of it here on Derek Carr. We'll get the numbers, I'm sure, relatively shortly, but anticipate this is going to be a pretty strong deal for the rare quarterback who becomes available prior to the start of free agency. Jameis Winston is technically still under contract for another year. Does not seem like he's got a future in New Orleans. Andy Dalton is a free agent. This is very much Derek Carr's team, and it is a veteran team that Dennis Allen, Mickey Loomis, and company believes can bounce back and win in 2023. Gentlemen, there were reports that Carr was seeking $35 million a year. How did this reported uh, price tag have an effect on his market, if at all, Mike? Uh, well, the Saints didn't seem like they balked at anything. And listen, the Jets were in this as well. And the Jets loved their meeting with Derek Carr. Uh, and from what I gather, were interested in having the negotiations with him at a a uh, fairly good number, and so they were in this certainly as well. We'll see what the final uh, number winds up coming in at. I'm getting a call right now, so, Tom, you can take it from here maybe. Um, but, yeah, it's Derek Carr is going to make some money here. I'll tell you that much.
And let's be abundantly clear for anyone who got the Twitter alert from Mike's initial tweet, no, the Saints are not closing in on a deal with David Carr, our colleague who's been out of the NFL for close to a decade. Did I say that again? It is Derek Carr, the former Raiders quarterback who is going to the Saints. I thought you were on the phone. I was just going to once again clarify oh. here for everyone watching, Derek Carr, not David, or their other brother, Darren, who's also had some fun with Mike on Twitter. It is Derek Carr set to become quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> I, either way, I would think that David Carr would certainly have a robust market, guys, just in my opinion. Either way, as always, NFL Network Insiders, Mike Garofalo, Tom Pelissero, thank you very much, gentlemen. Much more on NFL Now at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to check wow. out that Twitter handle. That's crazy. That is crazy, Derek. I was about to say Derek Carr. I was about to say Derek Henry. Derek Henry was supposed to be leaving, too. From the Titans, and that's going to be crazy too. Derek uh, Carr signs with the New York Saints. We'll have to see. We'll make a new video uh, party later today. Um, they're supposed to uh, he'll tell us uh, how much he's going to be signing for, how much he will be getting for a year. But I've heard he's supposed to be getting signed over three hundred fifty, four hundred million dollars in about. I think he signed six, seven years. So, uh. Appreciate everyone for um, coming to with this video. If you guys are new to, your, uh, new to this video, it would be appreciated if you guys do like and subscribe, turn on those notifications. Also, go follow socials. We post on TikTok every single day. If you guys want to do that, it would be appreciated. But I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace out.